Hi, so today we're going to be taping our athlete for wrist hyperextension. Extension of the wrist is when you go back like this, pushing that beyond your normal range can cause damage or injury. So for this, I have my athlete here, Jay. Um, so Jay, mm -hmm. what sport do you play? I play basketball. Basketball, what position specifically? I am a power forward. Okay. Um, do you want to be taped? Yes, yes please. Yeah, have you been taped before? Yeah. Do you allergic to taper sprays? No. Alrighty, I've cleared some contraindications. This is the affected arm? Yep, this is the affected arm. I'm gonna look around, see if any bruising compared to the other arm. So no decap BTLS to note. He is okay to tape. I'm going to spray his arm down. Check PMS. So, okay. Do you feel that? Yep. Do you feel that? Yep. Do you feel that? Yep. Can you wiggle your fingers? Alrighty, we're good to proceed. So for this, Jay, do you mind just clenching a fist for me? Got our anchor, distal anchor. Did you ever take the ball? Yeah. Yeah. You're all right with this being yep. like yeah. sort of plumped? Yeah. Sure. Mine just doesn't matter about this. Ready? Spin for me. Now I'm going to construct our fan. So the fan is going to span from here to his hand here. So for this, I'm just going to eyeball it. First, getting a feel for it. So for this, I'm going to find his painful range. So go into extension. You don't like that there, so we're gonna pull it back a little towards about there. And I'm going to start making our fan. So that is appropriate <laughs> length right there. Pull it down. So whoopsie. Yeah. I'm gonna make our fan. This is what our end product is. I'm going to lay it down so your your painful range is. So that hurts there. Okay, so we'll back it off there. Lay it down. Is that limiting enough? Mm -hmm. Already. I'm going to close. So just make a fist for me again. So again, anchors down. Just like that. Thank you. Same thing. You're all right with your palm being stuck mm -hmm. like this, right? I like taped up like this. Yep. Hold on. Yeah. Wrap around your hand. And they'll have it in the, on the back. Now, do you wear any sleeves or anything? I wear compression sleeves. Yeah. yeah, you wear a sleeve already. Yep. Is that still limiting enough for you? Yep. Yeah. I'm also going to crimp the sides just to give it a little more so stability. Alrighty, we should be good. I'm gonna recheck PMS, so just hold your hand up. Okay. That looks normal. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Yep. Do you feel that? Yep. Alrighty, can you move your fingers? Alrighty, PMS is conserved, so we're gonna move on to our return to play. Jay said he is a basketball player, specifically a point guard. So for this, I'm gonna have Power him forward. just, pardon? Power forward. Power forward, forward. sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. So for this, we're going to have him start with just some slow wrist extension and flexion. How's that feel? Good. Alrighty. We're gonna move on to multi-axial movements. So I'm gonna sort of have you roll around your wrist, sort of. Try and work in some ulnar and radial deviation. Okay. How does that feel? Good. Alrighty. We're gonna move on to agility and balance testing for the sure. wrist. So agility, I want you to just, using your wrist, I'm gonna stabilize your forearm here. Okay. Touch my hand. Alrighty. That should be enough times. Now, balance. So. 
Do, try not to let me move your wrist around. Try and hold it stable, okay? Okay, that should be good. Now we're going to move on to a sport-specific movement. So sure. as a power forward, what are you predominantly doing on the court? I'm pretty much grabbing the re grabbing rebounds and passing it out. Passing it out. So and I want you I to can. go over a passing motion potentially. Like passing motions have a fair amount of wrist yeah. in the end. You gotta so flow. I want you to just start with a slow okay. wrist. Okay, how does that feel? Good. Move up to full speed, or not full speed, low speed. Okay, how's that feel? Good. Alrighty, now we're gonna move on to the court with his equipment on. Okay. Um, so next, we are going to go start slow again, just that passing motion. How's that feel? Good. Let's move up to 75% or full speed. Okay. All right. Well, Good. Next, we're adding a ball. So he's gonna be passing with a ball. Potentially, I'm gonna throw it up for a rebound so he can go get it, sort of thing. Um, next, we're going to add a player. So he's gonna be passing back and forth with a player, receiving passes, giving passes, etc. cetera. Okay. Um, Lastly, we're gonna have him passing under coverage from an opponent mm -hmm. and potentially fighting for a rebound under the net. Cool. Uh, the last thing is recreation of the injury. So this kind of had I mean, hyperextension can really only happen, like it's common with a foosh. So we'll put him in a position or a situation where that might occur, but won't definitely occur. So yeah, that's the tape job. Cool.